Hong Kong residents have shown positive responses to the central government's interpretation of the basic law. The interpretation came after some candidates elected to the Legislative Council departed from the text of the oath during their swearing in. People from all sectors of society supported the decision, saying this is a strong counterstrike to separatist forces. The National People's Congress set clear rules on oath taking by interpreting Article 104 of the basic law on Monday. Response in Hong Kong widely agrees with the principle of one country, two systems, and Hong Kong's place in China. This is a must. Hong Kong is an inalienable part of China. If you don't pledge allegiance to the People's Republic of China and the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, then you don't deserve to be a public servant. Wu says the separatist words and actions put social stability in danger. He says they are waging an unpopular war that has disturbed regular life. Only when China is strong can the people of Hong Kong be proud. Only when the country becomes powerful can family become prosperous. We must uphold the national integrity and security that is our duty as Hong Kong residents. Two lawmakers elect deliberately insulted the country and its people while taking the oath of office and even advocated Hong Kong independence. From now on, public servants must adhere strictly to the basic law. We must pledge allegiance to the People's Republic of China's Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. I believe most people in Hong Kong, no matter if they are scholars or judges, would agree with me. I strongly support the interpretation of the basic law. We must eliminate any thoughts that put national integrity in danger. I would say 99.9% .9 of the Hong Kong residents would definitely agree with it. There is no other way. One country, two systems. The central government is taking action to deal with anything that threatens Hong Kong's social stability. Grace Xiao, CCTV.